Welcome everyone to Husband and Wife Gamers. I am Husband and this is Hearts of Iron 4. If you have been following the campaign, go ahead and click in the description and skip ahead to where the action starts. If you haven't been following along with this particular campaign, you picked a great time to start because we're going to try to knock England out of the war with Sea Lion. Now, we do have a few complications. We are still fighting in Africa. Uh, but that might help us out here because of the massive number of allied units that are kind of busy at the moment. Additionally, we're fighting down here in the south, probably gonna just hold this line. All right, right now the invasion on England is just waiting for the plan to complete and for our navy to get itself over there. So we're gonna roll and see how we can get that done. The enemy is bombing us and we're trying to solve that problem. Unfortunately, our fighters are kind of few and far between still right now. We're trying to drop supplies, but we've lost some of our transport planes, and we don't have the backlog of transports to really keep up on that losses. Their invasion did not go well. Our submarines are trying to help out, but with the American Navy just joining the war recently, um, we, are, we are hurting, losing lots of subs. Oh no, the Italians are encircled. We're also significantly low on submarines. Hope the Italians start pulling their guys out, because they're not going to last long down there. Right, since we pulled the subs out, we can at least get some airplanes over there. Italians made another attempt to get behind. Oh boy, I wish I could do something to help them out, but I'm having a hard enough time holding my own lines thanks to the horrible supply situation the Italians have put me in. All right, we are now being naval invaded. Oh, this isn't good. Um, okay, okay. The best strategy to stop these naval invasions is to knock England out of the war, so hopefully that's what we're going to have to do here. Um, it is now January. We're going to try and greenlight this uh, invasion of England. We have two different prongs on the attack. We have the primary army, which is attacking in the north. And we have the lighter forces that are going in from the south. We're also going to grab extensive conscription in case we need to get garrisons quicker. That may seem counterproductive since training time is up, but we are kind of low on manpower. So we want to be able to spam those garrison troops as quickly as possible. Sending the main battle fleet into position. I've noticed that sometimes if you order your fleet to do a, a naval invasion support, they're too far away, they won't move to actually complete the mission. Sometimes that happens. So we're moving them first. Everything looks green. We're gonna make sure both amphibious assaults are activated. And we're gonna hope for the best. Subs are engaged, cavalry is holding, and the Italians are Kinda sorta holding. Okay. Almost have everything we need to have over here. The Italian Navy's not looking so good down there. We also have some free dock yards and we're going to need more subs, so subs away. And the invasion begins. Alright, the troops are in the landing craft. Completely unopposed. The first landing. Nobody even tried to oppose this first landing. All of Northern England, with our main army, we're splitting into two groups. I don't like that there are 16 divisions over here. Let's hope that some of these guys be reassigned. All right, let's see how the light forces fare. They've got two beaches to land on down here. They might face more enemies. I don't know, because England has like 90 divisions in Africa, so maybe there's no one to fight. Oh no, here they are. Here they're, they're, they're fighting now. Now that all the troops have landed, we're pulling the navy back. Oh boy, we almost lost a carrier on that one. Everything else is looking pretty good though. Did we lose any ships? We lost some convoys, but we didn't lose any ships. What the hell happened here? If I lose because of that, I'm going to be very upset.
got the second port we needed finally. That's good. Keep that attack rolling. We don't need nine divisions fighting one division, guys. What are you doing? I've never seen my front lines get this messed up in England. I'm wondering if there was some kind of update or something I don't know about. Okay, it's getting to the point where if we don't start deploying some garrison troops to guard our ports, we're gonna get naval invaded by England up here in the north. So, we have been building some troops just for this purpose. We're gonna deploy them, and we're gonna start getting them into action. And you may be wondering, why have we not moved any panzers into position here? Well, in case you haven't been watching earlier, uh, we do have armored forces within our heavy infantry, uh, so that's helping out up north and down here a little bit as well. Uh, we just don't have any dedicated tank-only units right now because of the supply concern, and because they're busy on the eastern front making sure that if we need to, we can uh, very quickly penetrate over there and do what we need to do. So the main army is now finished in the north. We have our garrison troops starting to land, so the main army is going to take over the spearhead to London. Alright, the main army is just tearing them up over here. They did not reposition fast enough. They didn't pull out of Africa fast enough. And we are just slicing through with our heavy infantry backed up with that infantry support tank that we built. So we are just unstoppable. The British and the Americans are absolutely melting now between both armies. This is good. We're gonna hold off real quick and see what's going on in Africa. Well, since they pulled out a ton of troops, it looks like the Italians are doing very well. We're gonna go ahead and finish off this little blister right here. Now, we did get invaded, but that is why I have this army here. All things considered, this went a lot better than I thought it would, uh, other than that stupid frontline mishap. Uh, we have been able to just cut through England. They hardly defended the north. All their troops were busy other places. Really cutting in now. London, here we come. The fall of London. The UK is no more. About five months of fighting and ah, oh, 96 trains. All right, I'm digging that. So now, what's going on down here? This area should be ours soon, especially if I put the Air Force back in here. Africa's looking very good. And they're really pushing and trying to get this area back. I've been bombing these ports and, and going out with subs trying to get this thinned out so that they didn't have the naval capacity to do this, but they are just not letting up. Okay, so the primary army is going to give up what it's doing and it's going to start planning for the invasion of Ireland. Okay, we have factories, we have dockyards, we have troops that aren't doing anything. We have a lot of work to do. The light army is repositioning itself. We are going to take back Turkey. I'll start laying mines. Maybe that'll stop the invasion. And we will get our Norwegian force redeployed so that they stop enemy breakthrough down here. And hopefully that's enough to make it happen. Garrisons are starting to arrive. That'll slow down the enemy invasion. We have the light army here that's trying to push it back. We have the cavalry here that is successfully pushing it back. And the panzers are ready. All right, good. Well, I suppose we could use them to get rid of this port here. Nobody would expect a panzer naval invasion, would they? Alright, that cleans up Middle East. This area needs to be cleaned up. Oh good, we're already halfway to doing that. And then once we get this area cleaned up, it'll be easier to take this out and jump over here. Enemy's got a lot of supremacy over here. Wonder if more fuel would help balance that equation. 
not only are we not able to do the naval invasion, the enemy is actually invading us. How's that? We picked a great time to do convoy raiding, though, because we're sinking the ships. That was a, a dumb luck right there. Oh my. Look at that. Take that, England. Panzer naval invasion. Successful again. And we made our landing? Well, I didn't even notice. Oh no. What? Iceland? I wish I could defend you. <laughs> Sorry. Hopefully they don't invade you, because I can't send anything. We probably should also plan for the eventual need of more infrastructure in the Russian front. This is troubling. The Soviet Union has a chunk of India. <laughs> I don't know how they got that. Okay, that's a problem for another day. Let's declare war on Ireland. Since we've upgraded the Panzer Division to Mechanized, we can also start putting Mechanized in some of the other units to increase the hardness. So we're going to... Whoop, there's the end of Ireland. I'm going to go ahead and add some Mechanized troops to our Infantry Division. One advantage of Vichy France now being in the war is we have this base up here. Looks like our Panzers are in the water now. Goodbye, Malta. Now, I'm gonna have to garrison this, because Italy does a poor job of doing that, and uh, I can't pull my reserve army away from here right now. So it looks like the light army, as soon as it's done, it's gonna have to take that job right now. It'll be a job for the cavalry. Alright, the panzers have made landfall. And now it's just a matter of finishing off the rest of this island. Next episode, we're going to try and knock out, probably not going to make it all the way to America, but we should get Africa, and we might even be able to start knocking out India. Or, maybe we'll fight the Soviets. We'll see.